What's cracking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Smiths. And we're going back to their 1984 self-titled debut album again, and we're up to a tune called What Difference Does It Make? I was just thinking about it as I went to shoot the video. You know, I listen to a lot of punk rock, especially a lot of early 80s hardcore punk rock, Subhumans, Bad Religion, Dead Kennedys, Bad Brains. And I think because of my many years of listening to dissident punk rock music, uh, when I see certain phrases, my brain is inclined to take it toward the realm of social, political, and cultural cr uh, critique. And that's what it, my brain is inclined to do with this phrase. When I see the phrase, what difference does it make? My brain thinks about sort of the difficulty in affecting lasting, meaningful change in the world, um, and the way in which one could have a mind for activism and a very earnest commitment to, you know, ameliorating grievances and making new sort of pathways and new forms of um, of living, uh, and then ultimately over time one becomes jaded and embittered because it's just difficult to change things and indeed, um, you know, the dissident punk might say that there are systems in place which prevent radical change or any deviation from sort of the status quo. Um, so yeah, when I see the phrase, what difference does it make, I see a sort of exasperated, cynical expression of political and social frustration but I realize it could manifest in different ways and on different scales. It could be an interpersonal thing. It could be some, someone saying, um, you know, I try to get through to you. I try to make this connection. I think there's a possibility for something special here, but it seems to fall on deaf ears. You seem indifferent to my attempts to make something special, and therefore, um, what difference does it make? You know, everything I try to reach you emotionally, verbally, um, you know, physically, interpersonally, it doesn't seem to cause the desired change and therefore we're not going and creating that special connection that seems possible. So whether it's that specific dynamic or otherwise, I feel like the idea of what difference does it make because it's not making an impact um, could happen on a personal level um, just as easily as a broader like socio-cultural level. So let's find out what it is. This is The Smiths. The track is What Difference Does It Make and it's from their 1984 self-titled album. If I hit play. So far I'm inclined to think it's more personal. I love that crack. I love that uh -oh. Whatever secret was in his head, the other person found out the truth, now she doesn't want to see him anymore. And so he's not going to apologize because what difference does it make? I'm so fond of you. Uh -oh. 
I love their placement, like rhythmically. Given the bits I did here, and I did not pick up on all the lines, but the bits I did here made it seem like it's definitely more on a personal level. It's not really like a shot at society, but um, seemingly more about the connection with someone else. Um, it sounds like, if I read a couple of lines I did here right, that he had some sort of secret up in his head, and you know, all men do, but somehow the the person found out and she decided to you know cut him out of her life and no matter how much she apologizes it's not making a difference so it sounds like you know by the end of the chronology of the song he's basically saying I'm not going to apologize anymore this, you know it makes no difference um, what difference does it make so I don't know maybe I'm reading that wrong do let me know if there's a like insightful line or um, if it is heading in that way but there's an important detail to catch um, do let me know what you think of the Sonics. I enjoyed that one a great deal. Um, and once more, it's weird how he can sing like, he can sing like more straight, like more normal, but then he does those kind of like fluid, and in this case almost like cracking, like melodic adjustments. But then he can go crazy high, like, you know, just that falsetto, like super high. Uh, and I enjoyed when he did that at the end. And then as I said, I enjoy that like minute long, sort of extended instrumental outro. Um, that was really cool. So yeah, a great tune. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.